The Diefenbaker Canada Centre focuses on Canadian history because former Prime Minister um, Diefenbaker, he said, there is no dedication to Canada's future without remembering its past. So for the grant this year, we brought out different mobile exhibits that highlight key milestones in Canadian history and our road to Canada 150. So some of our main exhibits and Canadian milestones were um, suffrage within Saskatchewan, that was very important, as well as White Cap Dakota First Nation and their history within Canada and Saskatoon, as well as Canada's national flag and our search for finding this national identity as well. There was a lot of amazing moments this summer that made me think, yes, this is why we're doing this, this is why we're out here with this foundation and lots of those key moments happened with children. So they'd often come into our tents or event spaces and they'd be pointing out things and asking, what's that? What's this? Who is that? And to accompany those exhibits, we had hands-on artifacts that kids were able to play with and it also creates a more tangible learning environment. So at every event this summer, we brought out what we called our Canada 150 Tapestry because we decided to ask the public what their hope for Canada's future is. And many people wrote about reconciliation, they wrote about the importance of multiculturalism, as well as equality in Canada, and looking towards a more welcoming and inclusive future. Without the help of the Saskatoon Community Foundation, it would have been impossible to um, carry out these activities. As we had been to a few in previous years, usually Canada Day and the Dunder and Air Show, this year we went to several events every week. This summer, our goal was 5,000 people, and we had over 7,500.